Hi folks, Wingman checking in. Uh, today I'm up here in the lovely Rancho Cuyamaca State Park. I'm doing a uh, picnic bench tabletop review of the Habilis Bush Tool. Now, I've had this knife for a few months now, and I've carried it hiking. Uh, I've carried it while I'm out hunting. Uh, I wanted to test it out and get good, honest opinion of this knife rather than just opening a box. Oh, the knife looks so great, but you don't use it out in the woods to... Uh, thoroughly understand the application of the knife and is it going to work for what I want to do and what its intended purpose is. Now there's a few great reviews of this knife so I'm not going to try to outdo uh, the Ultimate Survival channel that interviewed the maker of the Havilis Bush Tool. I mean he did an awesome job explaining the knife and the specs. Uh, I think that folks like you are more interested, A, uh, in someone's opinion of it, and is it gonna work as described? Now, the only specs that I will talk about are just like overall length is uh, 10 and a quarter inches. It's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, which I think is a perfect thickness for a outdoors uh, bush tool knife that you're going to use in bushcraft or campcraft projects. Uh, some of the features of this knife, uh, it has a pseudo scandy grind and what that is is that it has a secondary bevel. Let me see if I can zoom in close enough. It's probably going to zoom on my ugly face here. But it has a secondary bevel on there. Now my initial impressions out of the box, the knife was just razor sharp. Um, I've used it a little bit and I put an edge on it. It wasn't hard to uh, maintain this edge. And being 1095, uh, high carbon steel with a Rockwell rating of uh, 57, uh, in my opinion, it holds an edge really well. Some of the features that are on this knife are it has an anvil up front, and as you're batoning, you strike that anvil to help run that blade down through the wood. It also has a thick, sharpened edge on the corner for scraping. Let me see if I can get closer here where you can see it. And it does a pretty good job. Another feature that the knife has is a little notch to strike your ferrule rod. As an example for that, let me get up a little bit closer. And this is a brand new ferrule rod, so you have to forgive me. I gotta take part of that coating off. But as you can see, it's kicking up sparks. And the more that I use this, the better that uh, it's gonna strike. Now, the scales on it are G10. And if you order from Habilis on their website, it comes in uh, a couple different colors. Uh, this is, I believe, what they call the Tiger Stripe one. They have a gunmetal gray one. And I can't, they have to forgive me, I can't remember what uh, the uh, other color was. But the G10 scales are uh, pretty awesome as compared to the uh, Linen Micarta scales. Now, they also have a, a bow drill socket divot in there and Habilis Bush Tools was one of the first makers to incorporate that into the uh, scales. So if you're out practicing those bushcraft skills of uh, primitive fire making, you have an option here with uh, the divot. Now on the back side, they've left uh, the pommel raised a little bit and they left a burr on there so if you need to hammer something or if you're doing bushcraft stuff obviously you take the paracord off there but uh, if you're scraping out say a bowl or whatever project that you're doing uh, there's a nice rough edge that will be able to do that so this is my quick overview uh, of the bush tool what I'll do is I'll cut away and I'll try to 
give you an example of some of the uh, applications that this knife can be used for. Now, one thing I must say is that for my hand, and I have a medium sized hand, missing, you know, part of a finger, but forgive me on that. Uh, for me, the knife fits really well in the hand. Uh, some folks that have had uh, large or extra large hands are saying that uh, the scales are a little too narrow for them. But for me, I don't, I don't find that, and I and I haven't experienced that as I'm cutting, uh, as I'm chopping with the blade. Um, if you have an enormous hand, uh, that might be an issue for you, where you might want to wrap the handle with paracord. Uh, this is just an honest opinion, and this is uh, from what I've heard on the forums and from other folks that have owned uh, a bush tool. But for me, uh, it works really great. Uh, let's cut away. Let's uh, show some examples of some practical applications of the Havilah's Bush Tool. Okay, I switched locations. Uh, had to go somewhere else because the lighting was just starting to fade. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to baton through this piece of wood. Uh, this one here is just too knotted up. I, I don't even want to attempt it. So I'm going to try it on this piece here. I think this is what I believe to be a piece of eucalyptus. So we'll see how the bush tool goes through there. And I'll be striking on that anvil part. So it didn't do too bad. Uh, that piece was about an inch and a half, two inches thick. Uh, if I'm cutting pine, if I'm cutting cedar, uh, anything that uh, isn't too hard, uh, like oak or hickory, I think that it would do a good job. Now, what I think the reason being behind that is, is because it's 3 16 of an inch, but it has that pseudo scanty grind. So, let me see if you can see it a little bit better on there. It just bites into the wood really well. And... I've used this before and striking on that anvil makes it nice that way the knife doesn't slip doesn't deflect off now see how sharp this is for you guys look so it's cutting really well I don't know if I can make a fuzz stick out of this but you know, I'm getting some curls. So we're getting some curls out of it. It will make a fuzz stick and it does do a pretty good job. Uh, it feels really comfortable in my hand and the knife is really well balanced. Uh, what I've read on the forums and seen on the reviews, folks have said the same thing, that the knife just doesn't feel like it's it's too light on one end or the other. It's just real perfectly, pretty close to being perfectly balanced. Almost right in the center point. Okay, let's use the scraper and see how it's gonna work. Scraper's doing an awesome job. So, if you're doing campcraft projects, bushcraft projects, uh, if you need to scrape the bark on a tree to uh, get some tinder, they left that real nice 90 degree edge with almost a burr on there. Feels really well. Now, one thing I also like about this knife is the profile of the tip of the knife and if you look at the blade, it is pretty much the same width all the way to the tip. So this blade is pretty strong. So if you're making your divot for that bow drill fire, 
I mean, it cuts through there really, really well. It just augers right into the wood. And it's centered in line with the blade. So you're getting good force straight down. It's not like the tip is off angled. So it cuts a divot in there really well. I would feel real comfortable attempting to do a uh, bow drill or a hand drill fire uh, with this blade and using the scales uh, as the block for my spindle. Uh, overall, I just like the grip and the feel. Uh, as far as a chopper, This is some pretty tough wood too, folks. There's so much girth in that blade that when you're striking with that forward momentum, you're getting a lot of fixed energy on there and it's just taking out nice pieces. Look at that. I'm not a big advocate of chopping with my blade or batoning with my blade. I, uh, I don't like to do that, but for the sake of doing a test, I know that there's folks out there that are hardcore bushcrafters, minimalists that don't like to carry a hatchet or an axe when they go out in the woods. Uh, I feel confident that uh, although this won't replace a hatchet or an axe, uh, it will do the job as you can see here up close and personal does a really good job at cutting all right one thing uh, that I forgot to mention was obviously the sheath now the bush tool comes with the option of either a kydex sheath or a JRE leather sheath uh, some folks are traditionalists and like the leather uh, I'm a Kydex fanboy. I love Kydex. You know, it's like uh, what you want on your pizza. Pepperoni, mushrooms, olives. I mean, we could argue all day on leather or Kydex. We won't even go there. The options are there if you want them, though. Uh, for the price, 199 bucks for a sheath or the custom leather sheath and the bush tool. Uh... In my opinion, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think this is a knife that I could hand down to my grandchildren and they could use this their whole life and they would still never wear this knife out. Now, the question you have is uh, the rating. So, on a scale of one to five, uh, quality, I think the quality of the knife uh, is outstanding. So I would have to give this, uh, out of five stars, I'd give it four and a half stars. It has a blued finish, which is pretty awesome. Uh, they've done a really good job at making this knife. It in my opinion, I love unique looking profiles on knives and this just intrigues me. I just love it. Uh, as far as handling and, um, being able to use it, I would have to give this five stars. Uh, this knife is built for bushcraft, for outdoor activities, for just beating the living daylights out of this knife. And I think this knife could take everything that you wanna throw at it, and it's still gonna be around. So overall rating in the uh, Wingman 115 channel, I would have to give this knife uh, I'm going to push it. I'm going to say four and a half stars, four and a half stars in the project. Uh, the Kydex sheath is outstanding. I added the uh, fire steel myself. There's so many different tools that are on this knife with the fire steel striker, the scraper, the anvil, making an awesome, uh, bow, uh, bow drill divot with that. 
the block for a uh, bow drill, the hammer on the back that you could also scrape out with. So there's a lot of things you could do with this knife. Now, there's no one knife fits all in any category, but for this intended purpose, for bushcrafting, I think this is the knife right here, one of the knives uh, currently that's out there. So, as always, I thank you for watching. This is Wingman. If you like the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, as always, folks, take care until the next video. We'll see you out in the woods.